Um, I really wish I'd included a dog slide now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm Mark, I'm a photographer and a web designer. Uh, sounds a bit boring, I know, but absolutely heartily love what I do and I love the people that I work for. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about my approach to my photography and a bit about the websites as well today. So, um, in my wedding photography, did you know that 99% of my clients all tell me that they hate having their photo taken? Uh, yeah, they still bug me for me to take their photo, funnily enough. Um, so, uh, we do a little practice shoot. So, we meet up, um, we chat, we drink coffee, lots of coffee. Um, and it allows me to gain their trust and kind of shower them with some reassurance so that they're left feeling relaxed, uh, they're really happy and above all we have fun together. It's a really fun experience uh, and I try and be a little bit creative too with whatever textures and colours uh, and good light, you get excited by good light. So it's a good experience for them. So to come their wedding day, um, I make time for the couple. We go away from all of the guests and we have fun, 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 fun. Um, so even on a wedding day, I managed to capture joy and happiness and they feel completely relaxed uh, in front of the camera, as you can see here. Um, and it's also about kind of making sure that they do feel at ease, because by doing that, then I'm able to capture moments like these, the in-between moments, the stuff that you wouldn't naturally, ordinarily do with your partner. Uh, but on a wedding day, anything's possible um, and it's full of emotion. Um, so all of the skills that I've used in my wedding photography, I kind of transfer into uh, helping small businesses as well. So I do a lot of work with small businesses and I make the people behind the businesses feel really comfortable. This lady was terrified of getting a photo taken, yet she's the face of her business and the results were amazing. She was really pleased with them. Uh, a coffee and a chat can go a really long way. So. We, or I kind of sit down and I learn about your business so that I'm able to create images that really tell your business story, that bring your business to life, um, to sell your product, your service, whatever that might be. Uh, people need to see exactly what it is that you're offering. Um, having a passion about my business gives me a really good understanding about the passion that people like yourselves have about your businesses. Um, People like this are really, really proud of what they've achieved from the start at the beginning right until where we've met them, okay? Um, so I build websites as well um, so that you can be the best that you can be online. It brings your business and wanting your business to look its absolute best online so that people <coughs> engage with you. Um, I want your website to basically reach out and I want it to grab people, make people sit up, take note, pique their interest, and above all, I want a website for you to make people to take action, either get in touch, booking a service, or buying a product, okay? That's ultimately what it's about. But it needs to be easy, and it needs to look great. So by combining strong imagery uh, with simple design, that's just the start of it. That's probably the easy bit, really. But your customers need to come to your website and they need to get the information as quickly as possible and as easy as possible. So when I build my websites, I've always got the user in mind. I'm always thinking about your customers. And what about you? So I want you to be in control of your website 24 seven. I want you to be able to make changes anytime you like without thinking you've got to pay for it. So the websites that I build come with a full content management system and it's really easy to use. I'm always there to help you out if you need it. Uh, I want to share with you a good example of how photography and a website can come together to really help a business. So meet Cake Bar. Cake Bar is the new brand from Three Sisters Bake. You might have seen it. It opened last, last month, I think it was, or earlier this month, I can't remember. Um, from Three Sisters Bake, and it's in the heart of the West End of Glasgow. I struggled with a title for this slide, but there it was, staring right back at me. <laughs> Here are the sisters, proud of their new venture the day before they open their doors to the public. They look happy, but I can assure you they were absolutely terrified inside. This cake smelled so good. Three months before they got the keys, I had a meeting with them and I had to imagine what cake bar was going to look like. I had to speak with them and really kind of get out of their heads what it was going to look like because what it looks like today, I have no idea what that would look 
play and have to go away and build a website based on their vision. I've worked with Three Sisters Bake since they opened their first cafe over 10 years ago in Quarriers Village and at our first cake bar meeting I had to get on their wavelength and to create a website fit for purpose and that is just exactly what I did. With the website ready, all that was needed was some good images to fill the, through the website. So I was really kind of shooting everything uh, for that purpose. I spent the day kind of capturing all of the interiors, the fixtures, the fittings, the products, but above all, lots of cake. <laughs> but before that, we needed to create some images for the PR launch. Um, with the help of a PR company, they needed images of that very evening which was a real struggle to kind of turn around really quickly. Um, and who doesn't love a five foot big uh, high flamingo, which is in there, believe it or not, balloon. Um, you may have seen these images kind of go far and wide. It's well worth a visit to Cake Bar, I can assure you, and if you've not had a chance to visit yet, then to get your cake fix, go to cakebaruk.com, and I would absolutely love to hear what you think, good or bad. So, what can I do for you? Well, let's grab a coffee, let's have a chat. That's what it's all about. It's no obligation to go with me or anything. I'd love to kind of learn all about your businesses. You can reach out to me through my photography website or my website website. <laughs> um, thanks so much for listening today. It's been a pleasure. I'm to do some questions. Any questions at all? I have one. Amazing. Um, do you feel having a, a specialty skill set of photography and web design is a huge benefit to clients? Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, if I can kind of help a business with a whole package, it's, it's good because I'm kind of designing a website, but I'm also kind of shooting images just fit for that website. Um, but it's not always necessary. I mean, people can just have a photography or they can just have a website, you know. They, there's other, other me's about kind of that do websites and stuff, but I do find that the skills that have helped me in my wedding photography and dealing with people, that's what it's mostly about, is sitting down and learning, listening really about your passion for your business and turning that into something that can really attract, you know, your potential customers. Brilliant. Quick question, yes. Hey, Mark, can I just ask what made book came first, the photography? Um, the photography, believe it or not. Um, I got married in 2006 and my wedding photographer asked me would I ever shoot a wedding and I was like, goodness no, too much pressure. Um, and but that was the seed planted. So I've done photography for the last 12, 13 years. Um, my trade is communications and marketing, so I did that for 13 years um, before I went full time six years ago, I think it was, seven years ago. Um, and only last year decided to separate it and create a website business. So I, I do them hand in hand, I kind of do 50-50. Thanks so much. And I'll round of applause for Mark, please.